how you can install mods for GTA 5 on PC. So uh, this is obviously something everybody's been anxiously awaiting ever since the PC version came out. At first there really wasn't much, it was really kind of crappy mods, it didn't really do much. But now we're finally starting to get some pretty cool things. So I wanted to tell you guys exactly what you need to do to be able to play them yourself. Now we are going to be doing a full series on all different kinds of mods, bringing you guys all kinds of different, you know, crazy, funny, insane gameplay, I can't wait for that. But for this first video, I want to tell you guys exactly what you have to do to, uh, to be able to install these bad boys. So, the first thing you're going to need is called Script Hook 5, and I'm going to link this down in the description. So this is just kind of like the menu system that all the other mods are going to be going off of. So what you do is you come to this website here, you download it, and it's going to put this right here. So once you have that, you're going to bring that over to your desktop, you're going to open it up, you're going to go to bin, and boom, these are the three files that you need to be able to install this onto your GTA 5. So uh, what you do is super simple, all you do is you open up Steam, so Steam right here, you right click on GTA 5, go to Properties, go to Local Files, Browse Local Files, and then this right here, search for the folder, it's probably going to be this first one that opens up, that has the GTA5.exe application right here. So this folder, all you do is you highlight these three, copy it, Paste it over here, and boom, you've installed Script Hook 5. Let's go check it out in the game. All right, so here we are loading up. Whoa, check out all that ass. So uh, now, that, uh, now that you're in the single player version of the game, all you have to do to be able to bring up like the main mod menu is you just press F4. And this is kind of like your, um, your kind of like menu here. So uh, after that, you can use 2, 8, and 5 on your number keypad to be able to cycle through this. So 2 goes down, 8 goes up, and then 5 selects. So you can see like under character, you can skip change, teleport, fix, uh, add cash, one it up, one it down, never wanted, invincible, stuff like that. Uh, you press F4 to go backwards. Weapon, you can say get all weapons, no reload, uh, explosive ammo. All right, so let's check that out. We're going to bring F4 down right here. We're going to check out our weapons. And now we can have an AK that shoots, uh, it shoots explosive bullets and never has to reload. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Look at it. Just, just go ham. So that's basically all you have to know about that. And then, again, there's like this, all these kinds of different things. You can spawn in vehicles. You can, Simeon, stop calling me, dude. You can, uh, you know, go to the world and, and moon gravity. Like, look at this. People are going to have gravity. Uh, cars, when they explode, they're going to go flying. You guys understand what I'm saying there. So that's kind of the, uh, the basic thing. It gives you the basic mods for GTA 5. But what if you want to install some more custom mods? Let's talk about that. All right, so that's pretty cool, right? You can do all kinds of stuff in that mod. It's just kind of like the base thing that everything else is built off of. You can make a character invincible. You can give him all the weapons. You can make the weapons shoot explosives. You can make it so you don't have to reload. You can spawn vehicles. You can teleport across the map. You can change the weather. There's a million different things you can control from that mod. It's super, super simple. Now, uh, what if there are other things you want to be able to do? Like, obviously, this isn't the only mod. That's kind of like the base foundation mod. So, uh, what I'm going to link down in the description, the second link is going to be GTA5Mods.com. So, this is where people can submit their own mods that they've developed. And of course, as time goes on, these become uh, kind of you know more complex and better and things like that. But you guys can see there are all kinds of mods. There's like a, a million pages here that you can check out. So uh, what I typically do is I'll go to scripts, I'll go to highest rated, and, and then these are some of the best ones that people have been downloading and liking and stuff like that. There's a pen riot, uh, or chaos mode mod, there's a bodyguard mod, there's a police mod, high speed was fought naturally in single player, stuff like that. One of the ones I'm really excited to try out, I haven't done yet, is the gravity gun mod. So this is uh, something that allows you to like, pick up vehicles and pick up people and pick up you know, all kinds of stuff and, and move it around and shoot it across the map and stuff like that. It looks pretty sick. So you guys can see, there's actually like a, a video you can play here. So you see it naturally, like this guy's picking up a, a pedestrian and shooting across the sky. So obviously that looks pretty cool. So uh, if you want to install this so you can actually play it on your game, all you do is you press download. It's gonna download right there. You're gonna bring it over your desktop, you're gonna open it up, and then boom, right here, this ASI file, that's just kinda like the mod file, so you're gonna copy that, you're gonna go back to Steam, you're gonna do the same thing you did with the, uh, the script of the 5 mod, you're gonna browse your local files, bring up this folder that has the main EXE in there, you're gonna paste it in there, and boom, and now next time you load up the game, you're going to have that gravity gun in there that you can use. So you can just you can do that for all of these different mods here. Uh, as I said, there's just there's a ton of them, and as time goes on, we're gonna get more and better ones. So, oh uh, yeah, that's basically all you have to do. It's super, super simple. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, one note to let you guys know, obviously these mods do not work in multiplayer. If you're trying to load multiplayer uh, within GTA 5, once you have that script hook started, then it's gonna, you know, kind of like close it out. So if you want to play multiplayer, you have to go into those local files and delete it. Just because, like, obviously that's gonna ruin the, uh, the other players, you know, kind of experiences online. So this is all only for single player, but you can definitely have a lot of fun with it uh, in that, uh, that regard. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this helped you guys out, make sure to thumbs up button. And also, make sure to check back to the channel. We're gonna link a playlist down in the description as well as to be our mod playlist. We're gonna go through and check out all kinds of different mods. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I hope to see you guys there. So, uh, thanks again, guys.